Jamie Ray with Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's DIY is a front doormat. It's something that's pretty simple and you can do in an afternoon while the kids are napping or at the end of the day when you're ready to craft and just unwind. To get started, we're going to go over supplies. I have Fairy Chalk Mother Chalky Finish Paint and Parchment. I have my measuring tape, masking tape, my stencil. I cut this out of my silhouette, but you could also buy your stencil at any local craft store. Or if you have a Cricut or another cutting machine, you could do that. I have my round zebra brush, which is perfect for stenciling. My Sharpie marker so I can mark the center of my mat. And some straight pins. I'm also going to be finishing with a polyacrylic that we'll spray out of our spray gun. You could use a spray can of polyacrylic as well, whatever works for you. First things first, we're going to find the center of our mat so that way I can center my cow. I've got 35 inches across, so I'm going to come to 17 and a half and make a little mark with my Sharpie. And then I'm just going to come across the other way and measure. We're at 24 inches, so at 12, which is about where I had it, that's our direct center. Now that I've got my center, I'm ready to place my stencil. Now that I've got it centered, I'm going to go ahead and use these straight pins to hold my stencil down. I will also be putting masking tape around the edge. It works perfect for all these little pieces that you don't want moving around while you're painting. Now that my stencil is nice and secure and centered, I'm going to go ahead and paint. If you've ever stenciled before, you want to use a nice stippling motion. You don't want to brush because you don't want the paint to get up underneath your stencil. The more straight pins you use, the more it'll keep your stencil in place and they also taped around the edge to hold it in place. You really don't want that stencil moving around, so it's important to take your time and make sure that it's held in place. I'm going to go ahead and get started putting my paint on here and I'm just going to do a stippling motion, bringing it up and down around the edge of my stencil first. I may have to do a few coats to get it nice and dark. And you also don't want to put too much paint on your paintbrush, otherwise it'll seep underneath. Once you get to the middle, you can brush back and forth because you won't worry about getting it in the edges. You just don't want to brush along the edges. Now I'm going to remove my straight pins and my stencil. Success! We have a cow and it actually looks like a cow. It stayed nice and crisp along the edges. You could even kind of see the udders and the tail. It turned out amazing. But you could stop here. I think it looks kind of boring. So I'm going to add a big thick white stripe all around the edge. Using my masking tape, I'm going to tape it off and go ahead and paint it. Okay, our stencil design is all done. You can see our cow along with our stripe. I love this idea because I feel like you could customize your doormat and really do anything. I can't wait till Christmas because I think I'm going to do a Chevy truck with a Christmas tree in the back. Be sure to seal it when you're done. So in this case, I'm gonna be using a spray can of polyurethane. You could also put poly in your spray gun. I'll have Zeb link the video of how to spray polyurethane below but you definitely want to seal it. You don't want to brush it because you don't want to get any of these fibers in your brush that would make for a big mess. So you just want to spray where you paint it and then you're ready to go. If you want to buy Fairy Chalk Mother paint, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. Also, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.